Hello, I'm Sierra Bowles. Welcome to my channel, Learning Builds Life. Today, we are going to talk about indices. Let's take a look at today's sum. 64 by 125 whole to power minus 2 by 3 divided by 1 by 256 by 625 whole to power of 1 by 4 plus root over 25 by root of cube root of 64 whole to power of 0 simplified to a rational number. Now this may look like, oh my god, this is not possible, but we can make this possible. So let's do it. Copying down the sum first. By 625, hold to power off 1 by 4 plus root over 25 and cube root of 64, hold to power of 0. Okay, now we know that if it's like a to the power of 0, it's equal to 1. So straight away, no need to look at whatever's inside. We can say that its whole thing is to the power of 0, so there itself, the sum becomes 10 times easier. It's 1. And over here also, 64 can be written as 4 cubed, and 125 is 5 cubed. We can write in that way, like this. And over here, 2 5, 6 can be written as 4 to the power of 4, and 65 can be written as 5 to the power of 4. Hold to power of 1 by 4. And here it's plus 1. And now we can continue with however we have to do this. And we know, again, we know that. It's like m by n whole to the power of a is equal to m to the power of a by n to the power of a. Keeping that in mind, we get whole to the power of minus 2 by 3. 5 cubed whole to the power of minus 2 by 3. Yes. Divided by, over here also, we apply the same thing. This whole fraction is actually in the denominator. So we apply this in the denominator part and we get, if we think properly, plus 1. And this should be... So now I may take a look at 4. Moving on to the rest of our sum. Let's move on. We stopped here and we know that it's like a to the power of m whole to the power of n is equal to a to the power of mn. Knowing that, we get over here 4 to the power of minus 2 because 3 and 3 gets cancelled in the denominator case as well. 3 and 3 gets cancelled. So we have and over here 4 and 4 gets, if we apply the same thing here, 4 and 4 gets cancelled in both the numerator and the denominator and finally we have plus 1. Now we know that a to the power of minus n is equal to 1 by a to the power of n. Here, in this case, then we get 5 squared by 4 squared divided by, here it's actually 1 divided by 4 by 5. Then it's 1 into 5 by 4. So ultimately, 1 into 5 by 4 is 5 by 4. So 5 by 4. that 25 
is 16 into 4 by 5 plus 1. Now we cancel out 25 and 5. Here we get 5, and here we get 4. So it's actually 5 by 4 plus 1. Calculate this mentally, we get and 4 plus 1 here. 9 by 4. And now converting that into a mixed fraction, we have 2, 1 by 4. And which is our final answer? Now we might take a look at the board. Hope you enjoyed this episode and please like, share, and subscribe my channel and stay tuned for more videos. Thank you.